Pax Americana. I began reading. It was like enlightenment, what someone once described as an act of remembrance. Like here in the book with the many colored plates, the one with the skeleton demonstrating the horse as its memento of solidness, like pocketing a few stones while visiting the ruins, these dice to cast later as fortunes. Or the memory of a museum with that odd print of a skeleton posed before a rhinoceros in a stand of broken combs, which meant to say something about perspective or mutability, but equally the crowding over of a scarcity of resources. I thought of the barbarians entering the eternal city, and I was in their ranks. In the reality, where we enter the city as triumphant conquerors, we're asked to dinner parties, given household gods as affectionate tokens. Against our forces, the affection and corked wine aim their insurgency. We receive announcements not to pull over, to avoid the market. Some remember a promise. Some say it is difficult to make a life here. If only I could see into the gaze and therefore have a word to translate that space between bone and column, bone and armored skin. And in this way, the atmosphere affects me. The occupation finds its shape. An archway from inside to inside. Whether you're guilty yourself, Roman, is not the question.